and when my twins were three years old, they were diagnosed with autism. With intensive therapy, my daughter began to speak, but my son wasn't getting it. After months of therapy, he still didn't know one single word. He was three and a half years old with the language of a 10-month-old baby. My quest to learn how to reach my son led me to adults on the spectrum who could explain to me how they perceive the world. From those conversations, I developed the filming method that has become discrete video modeling, or DVM. The first day my son saw these videos, he said his first word. In a few weeks, he was learning 30 words a week. This is a graph of Max's language before we started Gemini. Here is the language acceleration of a typical child, and this was Max. At the rate he was going, he would be lucky to have language ability of a two-year-old when he was 10. Now, this is what happened when we started using Gemini. You can see that Max's language took off. He crossed the average mean when he was seven and crossed the gifted line when he was 14. Here's a video of Max just before we started DVM, and then again a few weeks later. What are you doing, Max? Hey, Max! Max! Say cheese! Cheese! Max, how old are you? Three! What's your name? Max! What's your last name? Kiss bar! Good job. What do you want? I want house. House, please. Okay, okay go get the house. Here it is. That video was 14 years ago, and you may be wondering how the story ends. The twins entered college at 16 and are both very verbal. They attend youth legislature events and participate in public speaking. They still need a little more support than others may need in some classes, but for the most part, they are pretty independent. Now, autism is a lifelong disorder, but that isn't going to stop them from having a happy, independent life like anyone else. Our first group trial was a pilot study in a classroom with eight children with autism. Six of the children were low verbal and two were nonverbal despite three years of therapy. These two children had no language at all, not even verbal imitation of sounds. The trial was started in September, and by January, all children had improved greatly, and the two nonverbal children were speaking in complete sentences. This gave me the proof I needed that my little Max was not just an outlier, but that I had something that could work with most kids. We have since had trials with the Los Angeles County School District at Inglewood, California, Gonzaga University, the Eden Center at Princeton, Spokane Public Schools, and internationally in South Africa. Just like little Max, Gemini has shown to be successful even at reaching people who have not previously responded to other sorts of therapy. Our trials have shown us that Gemini isn't just for autism. Children with Down syndrome and language delay have done even better. We've also used Gemini to teach reading to young children and to students who have fallen behind their peers. Children go from the bottom of the class in reading to the top of the class in just a few months using the program. Although we have a strong research base with language learning, we are just beginning studies with the reading program. Initial results are very encouraging and will keep you updated with published studies. In our research, we've learned that Gemini works with about 90% of people with language disorders and about 70% of the most severely affected. 
We also learned that if Gemini isn't used correctly, you may not see any improvement at all. And this is why. Half the children love Gemini and want to watch it all the time. Some children are ambivalent and about 30% actually do not like the videos at all. If there's one thing I want you to take away, it is this. Kids don't have to like Gemini for it to work. My own son hated the videos, but he learned everything from them for years. Why do some kids hate Gemini? Well, people with autism generally like to retreat into their own world. Gemini sort of forces the viewer to engage in our world by making them pay attention to information which is crucial to language. Other kinds of videos, like cartoons, can actually encourage children to retreat. For about 30% of kids, the forced attention of Gemini can be uncomfortable, and there is the danger of developing aversion to it. To counter this aversion, we suggest that you begin using Gemini home sessions with your child when your child's eating. So three times a day, twice through at each meal. If they like them, you can expand the time. To accelerate learning, it is best to have your child watching groups. For little kids, if you can get the school to use the videos for the entire class, that is optimal. But if not, you can do this simple trick. Place the computer monitor or laptop at the head of the table while the family is eating dinner. Have everyone at the table copy the words and animal sounds along with the video. This will allow your child to actually participate in family time and encourage joint attention, which is shown to be the number one early indicator of eventual language fluency. Over time, the sessions will move from single word labels to short phrases. Once your child starts to independently engage with family conversation, you can remove the computer. Don't stay on any one video session for longer than a week. Even if it looks like your child isn't getting it, believe me, he's getting it, and you just run the risk of boring him to death. You can also watch the Day in the Life of a Gemini Child video for more ideas on viewing strategies. We have had some children respond amazingly the first week of Gemini, but others, especially nonverbal children, have taken months to respond. As a parent of kids with special needs myself, I suggest that you try Gemini for six months before giving up. Also, get the school and therapist involved as much as possible. It's always best to be used in conjunction with a robust therapy program, but considering the scarcity of services in some areas, you may not have that luxury. Don't worry. Gemini can be used alone if need be. If you are fortunate to have one-to-one -one therapy for your child, the addition of Gemini has been shown to increase language substantially. A typical hour of therapy looks something like this, with most of the time being spent on input, usually using flashcards, data recording, prep time, and review. Only about 15% of the time is spent on generalization or getting the child to actually use his language, which is the most important piece. With Gemini, the input of the information, prep time, and review can be offloaded to the computer and can be done at home for as long as you want. This leaves the majority of the live therapy session open for generalization and getting the child to use his newly acquired language. It makes each therapy session four times as effective. If your child has less than 30 words of meaningful speech, then click on Quick Start Language, which will get you started immediately. If he needs a more customized approach, then watch the Create New Session video to see how to create customized curriculum from our pre-filmed video library of over 10,000 words. It literally takes less than two minutes to create 10 hours of effective therapy time. So in my preschool, the kids come for two and a half hours for four days a week. And as we try and do as much as we can therapy-wise in that short amount of time, but if parents are following through with this video and we can have therapists following through with this video and it's just consistent, I like a team approach and that is always the most beneficial for the kids. Before Gemini, DeMarcus was nonverbal and he had a hard time following instructions. So when we'd say clean up, he would not clean up. And So then after Gemini came along, he started to initiate with his peers. He started following directions. Um, he, I would say clean up and he cleaned up and came to circle independently without any prompting. And also, um, DeMarcus, since he's nonverbal, we were using a lot of sign with DeMarcus or trying to, and he wasn't um, doing any of the copying the signs that we were doing. So then after Gemini, one of the things that was on the video at first was fish and crab. And so he watched the video and along with the video he was going, what does a crab say? And he was doing the signs immediately. So that was really exciting. Um, and then also at that same day I was doing um, Slippery Fish at Circle, which is a song that we do a lot in preschool. And he started making the fish face with his mouth, which is something that's very hard to do to get that mouth closure, and we've never seen it with DeMarcus before. So he started going, which was really exciting. So we all cheered, and it was a big party, but we've seen great growth with him.
I'm the physical therapist. I come in once a week and I see kids in small groups. So I have children with autism, children with Down syndrome. Demarcus is a whirling dervish. He is in constant movement. I'm trying to teach him to slow down, to pay attention to what he's doing because he tends to fall and is always in forward momentum. Since Gemini started, he's stopping, he's looking at what I'm doing, he's recognizing, well, for, there's a stop sign. He's recognizing that he needs to stop. He's recognizing that what I'm doing, he, for whatever reason, wants to imitate. And, um, and that's really cool. That the implications of this for my world are huge. We have a little boy in our classroom with echolalia, and it's very hard to get him to functionally communicate because he's repeating everything that we're saying all day long. And so if I ask him a question, he just parrots what I ask, and he does it with videos and with other IAs and with other um, specialists throughout the classroom. So he watched the Gemini video about no repeating and to try and stop echolalia from happening in the classroom and in other settings. And we went to circle time, and one of the questions that I ask is, what's your job today? And normally he says, what's your job today? Right after I ask him the question. But that particular day, he said, I'm the weather helper. And it was amazing. He's never done that before, so that was very exciting. He started pointing out things that he would see outside the window, which he never did, especially unprompted. He just said, look, there's a squirrel. And um, at snack, he was requesting. He also has a really hard time with his colors, and that's something that we've been working on a lot. And I told him to go sit at the red table, and he pointed at it, and he said, that's the red table. So that was huge, huge growth for him. About two hours from the time he saw the video till the end of the day, and he had accomplished all those things. I have differently abled children in this room, and some are severely impacted, and some are just here for articulation needs. And so the program is so great because I can turn on one video session, and Gemini really targets it for all of my students. So they're all learning something out of it, and they're all really engaged. A lot of times I'll turn it on not expecting that the kids are all going to go watch the video, and before I know it, all 13 of them are sitting around the screen going, crab! And even though some of them know that, they're still working on engaging with those nonverbal kids and they need that peer model. So it's really exciting to see that happening within the classroom. Levi is a student with autism that I've been working with for about three years and I absolutely love Levi. Levi is just one of those kids that you want to get in their head, you want to figure them out, you want to help them be successful because you know that it's there, you just don't know how to tap into it. So we've been working with him and he's making motor gains but, but nothing great. Well what I'm seeing since Gemini is all of a sudden this child that when things got hard he would start to shut down now all of a sudden he's challenging himself to want to imitate what I and what the other children are doing that's very exciting for a child with autism because the implications for his life and his future are huge if he can if he can do that and he's engaged he's making eye contact he's um, coming up to me and holding my hand and taking me over obstacles it's uh, it's great stuff things that we have tried to teach the kids in three years um, in three weeks, they're making these gains. And it's just amazing. It's, it's, it brings me to tears all the time because I can't believe the kids are doing what they're doing. It almost like unlocked a door and it made that, what we've taught them and all those years of hard work, all those things came flooding to the surface and they started playing with peers appropriately and hanging their backpack up on their hook when they weren't ever. And those videos weren't necessarily, those weren't what they were watching, those skills were what we've taught them, but because of Gemini, they were able to show us what they really knew. As a teacher, when you have a tool that's so easy to use like Gemini, that can produce results like we've seen, it's amazing. And it really makes you feel like what we're doing has been working. They just haven't been able to get that out or to show us that they're learning. So through Gemini, we've been able to prove, yay, you know, the teachers are working hard, the therapists are working hard, and the kids are learning. I want to go to school every single day and see what they're going to do next because we literally have a party in here every day and we are celebrating the kids' successes like we never have before. I just have to say this has been the coolest experience for me. But the last month I was working with a group of kids and all of a sudden my children that absolutely were usually spinning and running and doing all the craziness they were watching what I was doing and they were modeling the exact body movements that I was doing which are not easy for their bodies and so I kind of went okay something is different something is going on 
I need to find out what's what's going on because these kids are different than they were a month ago. So I go talk to Ellie and she said, Gemini. Gemini is what we're doing. And so I, I went and I watched the videos and I'm like, there's no way that this video can have this kind of carryover in gross motor. There, how is that possible? But it's possible because it's happening and I'm seeing it every day now. It's great. Elephant. 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 <laughs> we love to hear how your children are doing with Gemini, so please send us updates and any suggestions for new content that you may need. Thank you from myself and the Gemini team.